Continuing with our Soul Bond cards, we have the Six of Cups in this one. Six of Cups is a very strong Soul Bond. This is someone that you may have known a very long time. It could be somebody that could have been a childhood sweetheart. It could have been someone that you hooked up with when you were younger. You've shared time, you've shared cups, so to speak, with this person. You may have crossed paths quite a few times in your life, but at some point before, you have bounced with this person. There'll be someone that may bring up sweet nostalgia when you think about them. Someone that you would always welcome back into your life, should they ever return. And ditto them, you. There's fondness on both sides. Phoebe and David from Friends. If you can think of the scenario that whenever they got together, it was very cherished, it was very beautiful, but they were always in different places, so it never really got together. Now, not all, obviously they don't end up together in Friends, but they could have. I guess he just came in that bit too late. Had it worked out the first time, it may have stayed that way. But sometimes with the Six of Cups, the reason why it doesn't last in the first place is because it's not meant to. You're meant to go out and experience more life. And it can feel really painful when the Six of Cups ends, especially the first time where it's all been new and you can't figure out why it would have not worked out. This was your person, you cherish them. You may have feelings later on in life that they were the one that got away. Now, the Six of Cups doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that you've known many lives. It could be someone you've met in this life. So you may have shared past lives together, absolutely, if it being a soul bond card. But you may have just met this person in this life, but immediately you feel childlike around them. You feel giddy around them, they feel giddy around you. You have fun together that blind enthusiasm that you had as a child. And you may feel like that around a particular person, which is why they may be a Six of Cups. Again, it may be somebody that you knew when you were younger, but you, know, you might not necessarily have got together with them. But often the Six of Cups can mean that you have been with this person before. Or whenever you were around each other, it was a very childlike, it felt like coming home. It felt very magical. It felt very special. There may have been immaturity surrounding that. Since the Six of Cups is very much the child or the inner child card of tarot, they may have triggered you. You may have triggered them. It may have hurt so much when it ended that you were both kind of transmuted out into the world and set to learn lessons. It may be someone that, you, again, you bounce with in your dreams. I say again because I've already covered the lovers and that's very similar in that sense. But you will feel a familiarity with this person. So say it is somebody you may just have met, you will feel like you've always known them. There will be that feeling of recognition. If it is somebody that you have actually known, then again, you can come back into each other's company and it would still feel the same. There would still be some kind of an alignment there. And it can be very special and beautiful. Going to the one that got away feeling. You may always have that with the Six of Cups. Arguably, the one never gets away. But sometimes it's not always the right time. The Six of Cups can also mean that you may bring out immaturities in each other as well since it is the childlike card. You may trigger each other's wounds, inner child wounds. There may be lessons that you need to learn when the Six of Cups comes up. 